What's up everyone? So today I am at Maury's Piers and well I mean I'm currently on the pier that has the the great the great nor'easter, doo whopper and the runaway tram. But the surprise show stealer on this on this one of the piers, the log flume. So this log flume, it's got two drops. It's got a theme section. Uh, well, and it's got some other rock work too, as you can see. So this, this is one of the best log flumes I, I've done. And it's honestly a show stealer in, in this pier because, well, like, I mean, of the coasters on this pier, Great Nor'easter is really the only good one. And I'll get into that in my vlog about the park as a, as a whole. Well, actually, why don't I just make this, why don't I just do a vlog for each pier? So on this pier, the, the log flume is definitely a, a show stealer. An awesome log flume. Atmosphere. It could do without the narration, but it's a good drop tower. runaway tra tram back there. It actually has a little surprise pop of airtime on it, I noticed. It's very faint, but it's there, so. Like, when, but when I was expecting pretty much a kiddie coaster, that was definitely a welcome surprise. So here's Great Nor'easter, which I've got some stuff to talk about. So, I know a lot of enthusiasts are saying this is the best coaster in the park now with the uh, retracking. I do not agree with that. I still think it's definitely by far the best Vekoma SLC. I did get a re-ride on it, so. Normally Vekoma SLCs are one and done, but this one, definitely not a one and done. But basically, it's so intense that it's hard to get multiple rides on it. Like, I got, I got two rides on it and I was like, I don't know if I can do more of, of this. And it, it's not that it's that it's rough like other Vacoma SLCs. It's that the intensity is it, it's a lot more powerful. Like it feels a lot faster, honestly, than than other Vacoma SLCs. Like like it like they sped it up or something. So yeah, it's running really fast. It's super intense. Not complaining about that. That's great to have that, but. <laughs> The intensity is a bit much to get multiple rides in a row, so so that's so that's basically my review of Great Nor'easter here. And they do require lockers, but they're free. By far the best Vacoma SLC, which that's not saying a ton, but I will say that I do prefer it to some B&M inverts as well. I do, I do prefer Great White to Great Nor'easter, though. Over here, we've got Dew Whopper, the Zamperla Wild Mouse. And, you know, it's what you'd expect, basically. And there is one more ride of note on this pier. Dante's Dungeon. Now this is one that, that is hard for me because historically I have counted dark rides with gravity sections as coasters. And this definitely has some gravity sections to it, but the brakes go on pretty heavy. But if, you're, if I'm gonna use the brakes as a reason to not count this as a coaster, can I count Black Diamond as a coaster? Formerly Golden Nugget, which was ironically here in Wildwood. But like, I mean, I am really not sure whether I count this as a coaster or not. I'll have to get back to you on it because, I mean, it's got its gravity powered sections, but the brakes hit hard on them. So you don't, you don't, it doesn't really feel like a coaster if that makes sense. Like, you see how the brakes 
hit in right away there and it slowed down and it's going the speed you'd expect so like that's what I mean by that like you saw how it started to coast down the hill like a roller coaster I mean certainly more of a coaster than the coaster at Bushkill Park which is on Roller Coaster Database no shade to Bushkill Park the people who own that are super cool but it's but the thing that the Roller Coaster Database considers a coaster isn't And over here, you've got a carousel, and they do something kind of cheap, so. You see that organ? It's worked into the facade. It's not, they don't actually have a band organ here, which, you know, with all the history that the Wildwood Boardwalk has for, for amusement parks, they could have gotten a real band organ for their carousels just gonna say that but I, I don't know the exact names of the peers but I'll do a vlog for each peer because of how spread out they are so yeah that's gonna do it for this peer